Alright, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it's VMP, welcome back. This time we're here with a little more of our Prophecy of Pandora, and today we are going to be finishing off the Empire, hopefully for good. Uh, I, I, I'm not going to be, uh, what is it, ignorant enough to believe that we can, uh, or foolish enough to believe that we're going to be able to hunt down every single one of the Empire's vassals, but if we can take out Maris Castle, they will have no towns or castles remaining, and then none of their lords will be able to respawn. Uh, and because most of their lords are pretty tiny, as you see, like this dude has eight troops in his entire army. That dude just got caught by the goddamn Dread Legion. I'm not too fussed about uh, them being able to retake any of the castles that we have, uh, how to say, acquisitioned in the recent episodes. Holy shit, low morale. We have excellent morale. Oh, that was an Empire unit. The Empire units aren't too happy since we're just absolutely destroying their homeland right now. I guess that's not too surprising. I mean, it's not like we've been raiding, though. We've just been sieging everyone and anyone. I mean, not much we can do about that. Alright, Anson, some more intelligence for you. Holy shit, 33 intelligence. This dude, he's pretty intelligent. He's pretty smart. Not sure. He's probably about uh, Einstein level, I'd say. What are we going to give him? Shit, he's got wound treatment. Surgery, first aid, engineer, all maxed out at 10. What do we even want to give them? What don't we have? Tracking, maybe? Oh, yeah, we've been doing tracking with him. All right, so tracking's up to 9 now. All right, you go, Anson. You do you. Is he the number one for that now? I guess so. Huh. Go figure. All right, who else? Oh, I got uh, Kavera leveling up. Go ahead and give you some more strength. She's getting up there. 26 for her. Diev, you're pretty high, right? Oh, no, 28. I mean, yeah, that's pretty high, but not as high as I thought you were. Okay, anyone else? I think that's about it. Ooh, Lord Gallus, we have prisoner... Are, is he dishonorable, or...? He's dishonorable. Okay, we'll sell him. Don't got a problem with that. Hopefully he spawns in right away at Maris Castle with no troops, and we can just capture him once again. Oh, look at them. All these vassals are coming back inside here. Oh, you're patrolling around the castle. I'd start running, son. Actually, he is 214. We actually don't want to fight him. Holy shit, look at how many lords and whatnot, including Marius and Pyrrhiter, are here. Holy shit. Okay, this is going to be fun. Uh, it's a ladder castle, shocker there. Alright, it's late at night, so it should be morning, and boom, here we go, let's do this. The final siege. Alright, man, we took out the Empire in like under a month, I want to say. It's so fast. We just got absolutely wrecked, ouch. Like, we're getting wrecked right there. All right. Infantry charge in. Do we want a cavalry to go, too? We'll let the infantry go first. Got some cure guards, uh, mercenary armsmen, dragon drakes. Kind of our... I mean, they're not trash units, but, yeah, for us, they kind of are. Send them in first. Now we'll have the cavalry go. We'll actually have the cavalry follow us. I don't want... These guys can go in ahead of us, but I don't want the cavalry rushing ahead of me. They can be right next to me. That way we can be sure to get in. Although, holy shit, this is a really easy castle to siege. It's pretty wide open up here on the rampart. And our troops are getting in without too much difficulty and dealing a good amount of damage. I'm feeling confident about this right now. Those guys are kind of chilling behind us. Alright, that works. Do we even need us? Is our, <laughs> our fodder units, our, our trashy infantry, are going to be able to just siege this castle by themselves. Okay. Alright, now they're starting to die. Starting to die off a little bit. All right, come on, let me in. All right, now let the cavalry charge in. Get out of here. Oh, that's actually one of our units. One of the few Empire units that hasn't. Ah, get out of, get out of here. That hasn't uh revolted and ran away from us or deserted. They didn't revolt. They just deserted. Uh, let's get these guys. Oh, Queen Agnes Freebooter. I haven't seen you in a while. Old Feard's Vein specialty units, household units. There we go. Get out of here. Oh crap, this is where the reinforcements come in. We chose the wrong side, didn't we? Or did we? Maybe we didn't. Alright. Oh, Legionnaire. Let's take you out. Oh, no, that's, uh, what are they? That was a gladiator. Those guys are nasty. They're worth a ton of experience, too. 735. I think the amount of experience you get is based on what level they are, and I think the, like, the gladiators are something ridiculous, like level 60. It's insane. We're like level 42, 43 right now, which is pretty high. I imagine we'll get up to 
Probably close. Nah, probably not 50. 50 is insanely high. Uh, Cortain from the first season, he got up to 47, I want to say. And I played him for a long time. I had over... I had weeks of playtime into that series. <laughs> like, it was actually kind of insane looking at it in the end. Like, probably a solid 300 hours, maybe. And I've only played, I only have like 1,100 hours in total in all of Mountain Blade, and I had 300 of those put into just one playthrough on Prophecy of Pandora. Yeah, that was fun. He had like 30,000 kills, I want to say, by the end of it. Which we actually, I mean, Zanin's be killing a lot. Like, we're already at 11,000. So, we'll get, oh, sorry, friendly troop, Mob B. Just trying to take out these crossbowmen. Do we got more? Oh, this isn't where they come in. Hello. Goodbye. Uh, interesting. Okay. Did they, like, change which direction they came up? Because I swear the first... There was a, definitely a wave that came in from this side. And then they saw that we were here, and they are like, Alright, guys. Other way. Other way. <laughs> Turn this boat around. Oh, no. I got some reinforcements. I got some pretty good units here. Lots of armored crossbowmen. Which are very annoying. Uh, if we hadn't taken the walls quickly, they would have definitely punished us. Oh, shit, what are these? Empire Mortals? Yeah. Okay, we'll take them out. Oh my god, and all of a sudden, there's no Empire Mortals. Oh, there's one left. Not anymore. Cobra Warrior, thank you for distracting him. Alright, let's go down on the field here. Enough firing our bow. Let's give Dragon's Flame some action. He was salty. Dragon's Flame was mad at us, because we were cheating on him with the Order Bacchus Sword. Oh, we're out of arrows anyways. <laughs> Don't you worry. This thing is still definitely, especially for sieges, hands down the best weapon. Oh my god. Like, it just one-shots everybody. Like, everybody. Doesn't matter. It was even, it was doing, it was two-shotting the demonic magni last episode, which is actually insane. Those are, those units, those demonic magni put Twilight Knights to shame. The Noldor Twilight Knights, the best Noldor, uh units in the game. The best units that we could ever possibly recruit. I've never actually had one in my party. Never actually gotten a Twilight Knight. We're definitely not going to this series because this the whole point of this is we're supposed to hate the Noldor. And the goal is to actually successfully siege Elecrae. Boom. Oh, come on. Right, let's back off here. Let's t Ooh, we need to take out this group of archers. A crossbowmen. Ow, they're going to take us out. Come on, shield. You're supposed to be better than this. You're supposed to be, like, the best shield in the game. I'm not really seeing it right now, and it's making me sad. Got here. Boom, took him down. How did he hit me? <laughs> We're point blank with a shield in his face. Oh, my God. Yeah, the armored crossbowmen are wrecking havoc on us. Okay, do we not... The true cavalry charge. Okay, there was just a reinforcement wave coming in. Wow, that was pretty bad on our part. That's the one problem with Dragon's Flame. It doesn't have a lot of reach. It's got decent speed. Like, especially for if we're one-shotting. Oh, what the hell did he come from? Son of a bitch. Ah, that's frustrating. How many have we killed? 243. we got to be basically done. Everyone's charging in now. Now the question is, do I even want to sit through this, or do we just go ahead and... Is this the last wave? Oh, they're killing them pretty quick. They're taking them out pretty fast. Alright, maybe this is okay. Oh, there's a reinforcement wave. Our guys are doing good. We can let them do their thing. And there's no one glitched out this time? No? Good. Alright. That's happened in the past. Was that the series, or Perizno that that happened in? I don't remember, but it's pretty annoying. Oh, yeah, look at all of our Sarlian armored uh, archers, armored longbowmen. They're pretty good. I don't like the fact that they're getting into melee, but I think they can handle themselves reasonably well. Don't have many dudes left in here. Oh yeah, he's down that guy goes. And this Cobra Warrior, you're not quite going to be able to take them out, I don't believe. What are we looking at here? We've lost 35, taking out 283 of them, 45 remain. Yeah, I should be able to handle this. Oh, where am I going into quests? <laughs> Alright. Oh yeah, they're coming up right now. They don't really have many crossbowmen, so don't have to worry about... Oh, they got two over there, but they're like scrubby. Scrubby crossbowmen. They're not good at all. 
These dudes are kind of worrying me. That's a bunch of heavy infantry fighting against my archers. We want to redo this? Ah, nah, we got this. We got this. Might as well finish them off. And we got reinforcements coming. We're good to go. We're good to go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at this wave. Oh, some Silian Howbeerders. Let's get them in there. I'm losing some of our longbowmen because the longbowmen's just going head to head with their heavy infantry. Probably not the smartest tactics, but uh, actually working. Surprisingly working. I guess we have a Highlander or two in there. Or is that a Ranger? That's a Ranger. Yeah, god damn, we have some badass archers. Alright, they're taking them out. What do we got? Like maybe, a, yep, a couple dudes down there. This is over. This is over. All right? Yeah, three left. One, two. And then I think this dude. Oh, please don't tell me he's glitched out. Please. Oh, ooh. Ouch, shit. He just got hit in the face. Still alive, though, somehow. Oh, he's getting hit. He's getting hit. Oh, he's out of there. He's not glitched. Is that it? There we go. Victory. Very nice. Very good indeed. Damn, we killed another 109. Every siege. 100 plus. All right, so we lost 37. Not bad at all. Um, Most of that... Uh, not most of that. A bunch of those were mercenary armsmen. What else we got? Main cavalry, dragon drakes, bunch of cobra warriors. Don't mind losing them. Men at arms. Okay. Go ahead and finish this off. What's up, boys? <laughs> I like how we just destroyed his shield in one hit. All right, crossbowman. You feeling lucky, punk? Boom! <laughs> Oh my god, the overhead. 248 damage with that thing. It was... Bop. There we go. They're all managing to escape, son of a bitch. Uh, ooh. Ooh, I'd like to take you, but we don't have enough. So you're free to go, man. All right, you're free to go. I want Myers and Pyrrhiter. Damn it, they're not even giving me the chance to get Myers and Pyrrhiter. That sucks. Alright. Oh, hello. 23 more Cobra Warriors. Fuck yes. Starling on Halbeerders? Holy shit, they had a lot of guys in this prisoner party. Oh, man. Mercenary Armsmen? Mm-hmm. Uh, oops, are Longbowmen? Nah, probably not. Armored Footmen? Yes. Uh, Man at Arms? Yes. Singalian Temptresses? Ooh, yep. Singalian Horsemen? Sure. Welcome aboard. Okay. Yeah. That worked out pretty well. Okay, let's get level these guys up. Some more rangers and whatnot. Uh, what do we got over here? Main cavalry, yep. And mercenary swordsman, nope. You guys are going to stay there? Cool, perfect. And does anyone want any of this? No. Do I want any of this? Maybe a few of these. Right, that'll be good to sell. What can you do with some more inventory management? We don't have a lot right now. Uh, who are we going to give this to? Oh, Lord, in our hairy breeks. There you go. Take it. <sighs> Take my mans. Uh, ooh, Lord Garibald is dishonorable? That's surprising. He shouldn't be losing... Huh, I thought we were only recruiting honorable guys. But he must apparently not be if he's getting... If he loses relation whenever we give a fief away. Alright, so this dude's kind of annoying. He's pretty big. 214. Uh, he could potentially re try to re-siege one of these castles. So, the smart thing to do would be to take him out. Do I feel like doing that? Ah, fine. Fine. Suppose we will. Ah, right, so they're... The Empire troops are just gonna be raiding much of our shit right now. I don't really mind that too much. Oh! Hello! He likes us. Ooh. Um... Well, you should keep faith with your promises and do not do injustice to others. Sometimes it's hard to balance these. Stick with people you trust, I think, and it's hard. F uh, okay. How do you feel about Myers and Pyrrhiter? Can I persuade you to say a little more? Okay. Oh, if you put it that way, I admit that I do sometimes worry about the state of the realm. I ask for your support for the throne of Pendor. Uh, he's very honorable. So... This one. Yup. Military, you'd be safe with the, with us. 
he'd be more comfortable with me and our companions than our current liege. And you speak of protecting the commons. I like that. My tenants are a happy lot, I think. But I hear of others in other estates that aren't so fortunate. Boom. Hell yeah. And finally, one th should think carefully about retracting one's allegiance, even if there is good reason. Oh, damn. All right, well, surrender or die, buddy. Got to do this. Shoot. I, I, mean, I think we did just about everything right that we could have there. He just wasn't going to be joining us, sounded like. Which, oh, well, too bad. Hopefully we capture him here, and then we can uh, get him to join us that way. I mean, he's like... Oh, I can't give up my allegiance to Marius Imperator. He doesn't even have an army anymore. We destroyed him. Not once, but twice. He got wrecked. And now all your men are going to have to die, too. But it's okay. Everyone's going to bow the knee eventually. Everyone's going to bend the knee. Yeah, look at this. He doesn't even have, even have a proper army. Uh, let's get around here. I like all these Cobra Warriors. God. Honestly, Cobra Warriors are, for the for their cost, best unit in the game. Like, for cost efficiency, they are the best. Only 26 dinars a week, which is nothing. That is chump change for Pendor. But you get a pretty decently armored, basically, knight, essentially. Like, they have insane equipment. And, oh my god, I forgot, their horses are tanks as well, aren't they? Yeah, look at their riding. It's nasty. That's why I always hated the Cobra. The the Snake Cult are one of the most nastiest factions to go against. Like the Heretics, yeah, they got the Demonic Magni. They, those suck. But there's only like 20 of them tops in an entire army. Then the rest of them, easy. No problem. God, no, the Snake Cult, tough from top to bottom. Even their Armsmen, which are supposed to be their trash units, they all have like crossbows and like chainmail and stuff. They're not easy. I'm sorry, Remusk. Now we gave you the chance. We slaughtered you there. It wasn't even close. Where where is he at? Oh, straight ahead. Over the hill. Okay. On we go to deliver death and all that stuff. You know. I mean, look at these guys. I guess he does have a few Oh, ouch. How weird that hurt. See? Those guys could have been a part of my army, part of my land, but no. You had to be super honorable. I respect that. It's just uh, it sucks for all of us. Mainly, for, mainly for these guys, though. Mainly for the guys we're just destroying. It sucks for these peasants and the few poor knights that were still alive. Not for much longer. I'm trying to get these flicks. Come on, stop that. There we go. All right. Got a few of their own mercenary armsmen. I really like their mercenary armsmen for sieges. I've never... You know, before, my tactic has always been to just get the most elite troops. Have a small army of just the most elite troops around. But it's really cost-efficient to get, like, some of these guys that are medium-tier troops. Like, they're decent. They're okay. But really cheap. Like, we can get 10... No, we can get, like, 30 mercenary armsmen for the price of one hero adventurer. And, yeah, 30 mercenary armsmen are going to do way for, way more for us in a siege than 30 uh, hero adventurers. So, I like this decision. I like what we're doing with the army right now. Xanon's a bit of a smarter ruler than his dad, I think. Alright. Boom. I escaped. Damn it. Alright. Be that as it may. Capture all these people to sell off. Uh, we'll stop in Ethos. Real quick. Uh, might actually tell you what. We'll check out our troops again and see if any kind of new armors and whatnot has unlocked. Because I'd like to start equipping them with some better stuff. I don't think we're quite there yet to getting like Noldor weaponry. But anything we can get can help at this stage. Uh, anything else? No. Oh, you can't afford that. Close enough. Close enough. Alright, tavern. Do we have a ransom broker? Mm, who are you? William. You don't seem like a ransom broker. No, you are not. Alright. Oh, well. That's fine. Let's go to the castle, see how our knighthood order is going. 
thing? This dude? How are their skills doing? Okay, 19 strength. They're getting up there. Once he gets to, like, uh, I want to say, like, 21 and maybe even 24, then, like, the best stuff should be... What the hell? Negative 5 skill points? <laughs> what? Okay. What about these dudes? How are they doing? Oh, 11 strength. Yeah, they that needs to be increased a lot, please. <laughs> okay, uh, who do we need to talk to about this? I think it's just this dude, right? Yeah, it's this dude. Uh, yeah, oh, what's up? Good, Refugee problem. Uh, sure. 800 dinars. Cool. Alright, uh, war room. Baggage train? Yeah, sure. Um, but I would like to... Improve the equipment of the vicious motherfucking Pandorians. Um, ooh, better mounts. Can we give them that? What could we give? We can't give them shit. They have terrible riding skill, apparently. I want to give them some Noldor stuff. I guess the Shark Coursers wouldn't be the worst. They'd be, they'd be pretty fast, at least. Very fast. And it's only 800 for that? Oh, no. 800 upgrade cost. 8,000. That's not horrible at all. Yeah, sure. Let's give them some better. Oh, yeah. It's way better than the horses they have right now. Yeah, sure. Boom. There you go. Okay. 11 days and only 7,000. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Uh, and then for the very manly people... Oh, we can give them mounts, too. Nice. Or, no, we cannot. They have no riding skill. Okay. Um, then... Let's give them some weapons. One-handed weapons. Or bows. Oh, they don't really have much skill with that yet. Mmm. Mmm. Not really seeing much that I like here. That's weak stuff. Alright, we go up here and we're seeing... Short saber. Ugh. Not a lot of reach. I'm not sure if I like that. Long steel sores. Pretty decent. Noble saber. Lots of reach. Kind of slow. Looks pretty nice, though. Uh... Hmm. Well, this doesn't have to be a permanent thing. We can just get him something nice for right now. I kind of like the Noble Saber. And it's pretty cheap. We'll do that. Boom. There you go. Uh-huh. Very nice. It'll only be 12 days. So we got that going on. Great haul. And cool. Alright, let's get out of here. Time to move north. So, we finished the war in the south. Utterly decimated the empire. Uh, no, I think we can go up. Let's uh, actually stop by at the Pandorian Palace and see how our armor is doing. Probably still have another month or two, but I just want to get a number on it. How many days we got left? What's this? Ravenstern. Oh, who's this? Oh, Lord Alistair. Doing work. I like it. Chase those caravans. Make that money. Who's this? Lord Alice? Okay. I don't remember recruiting you, but welcome aboard, I suppose. Oh yeah, a bunch of the Empire troops are just leaving. After all the damage we did to the Empire, I'm not surprised at all. Yeah, morale is terrible. Excellent for everyone else, but terrible for them. They're not happy. That's what happens when you siege, like, five castles in the period of, like, a week. Uh, who's leveling it up? Ooh, Rangers, very nice. Halbeerders. Ooh. Do we even want to spend money on these guys? The morale's terrible. I'm not going to spend any money on Empire troops right now until their morale gets back up. Alright, so let's check. What's his face? Isn't he from Melatine, I think? Alexios of Melatine? Is that what his name is? Not you. Yep, Alexios of Melatine. How are we doing? 43 more days. Okay. 43 more days. So, actually, we'll, we will. Sh we should be able to get this armor before we've conquered all of Pandor. <laughs> That doesn't sound that great, but we, I mean, it's, that should be a thing. Uh, we might be done with Ravenstern, but... Eh, will we be done with Ravenstern 43 days? I mean, we definitely could. The question is, will we? Alright, so you guys suggested in the comments of last episode that we should not be uh, taking Marleons right away. And I was already planning on getting Ravenstern. Uh, but the reason for that is they said that Sarleon is going to want Marleons back. What is this? Oh, King Gregory's indicting people for treason. Interesting. 
Oh, and he's rumored to have gone into exile at the Domain of the Dragon. Uh-huh. Let's stop at Poinsburg and see if he's in here. And actually, let's pick up some Knights of the Raven Spear. Hell yeah. What's this? King Ulrich denounced the Order of the Red Fletchers and named them an outlaw order. Okay. Uh, is he here? I'd like to know if he was. He might have gone to our capital at Rain. We'll stop by there too. Nope. Not who I thought it was. All right, let's get the garrison. Uh, Knights of the Raven Spear. Yes, join us. Raven Spear guys are pretty good. Knights of the Raven Spear. Um, lots of prisoners for us to take and then sell for free. All right, tavern. Do we have someone here that can Alyssa? Eh, no. Boom. Uh, sell all of them. Three thousand. Don't mind if I do. That paid for some of. Uh, I think that's actually about what it costs to upgrade all the uh, Ravenstern is awarded Duke Alexis. Not for long. We're going to be taking that back pretty quick. I think that's, it only costs us like three grand to, um, ooh, wow, a bunch of our guys are getting taken out. I saw Lady Botus and now Lord Frederick got taken out, which surprises me. He's generally pretty good. Lord Garibald. Oh, the Max Empire wants peace? Sounds fine to me. We already took what we wanted. We don't really need to fight them anymore. Ooh, hello. Ooh, they actually had a pretty big dude up here. Look at this army, 1255. They're stacked. Not as stacked as rain, though. 642 in the garrison. Um, Castle. Is the dude in here? Better not be talking to ladies' people, or I'm gonna be pissed. Ladies' people? Lord Clovis, I swear to God, if you talk to my wife. Ah. Lord Clovis, huh? You want to join us? I don't know if he's honorable or not. But it's a free lord. Hmm. Alright, we'll take him. I hope he's honorable. If not, we can always get rid of him. I'm kind of considering getting rid of Lord Garibald just because he, uh, is not honorable. He catfished us. Not happy about that. What is this? Some adventure company. Lord Burgundis. Count Bogdan, get out of here, get out of here, alright Ravenstern, we're taking you back, oh yeah, only 93 in the garrison, give me a break, give me a break, yeah, yeah, points broke out, I was just there, you couldn't have, like, brought this up when I was just there, Jesus, alright, we'll finish him off quick, follow me, you follow me as well, I'm gonna break my way in here, Ouch. Give me through, give me through, give me through. Alright, we're here. Holy shit, the Knights of the Dragon are real. Okay. Overheads, please. Overheads. Or, can we sneak in here? No. Yes? Maybe. Yes, we are in. And we are through. We're out of here. Boom. Alright, Knight of the Dragon. F off. Take out these archers real quick. Don't think so. Alright. Um, yeah, you guys just charge in now. Oh, is that a hero adventure that we just killed? Oh, no, Knight of the Ebony Gauntlet. Ooh, they have multiple knighthood orders here. Yeah, I really want to make sure they don't take Ravenstern again. Um, because they have a lot of Knights of the Dragon in here, and that's not what we want. Because we've been upgrading the order a lot, and that also makes, that makes them across the board better for everyone, not just us. So the less we have to go against the guys we're upgrading, probably would be the better. There's only 90 people in this garrison. How many of them are knights? There's a lot of knights of the dragon here. Did a vassal come in and I didn't see? Oh, we're just going to town. No, I don't think so. There's not that many of them. There's probably only 90. Yeah, it's, is this the last dude already? Oh no, there's another wave. How many have we killed? We've killed 88. Oh yeah, this might be it. Shoot, wow. Yep, the siege is over. Boom, one shot in your shield. Get out of here. There we go. Oh, Lethalgen, you stole my kill. Stole my kill, buddy. Alright, there we go. That was a good battle. Did we lose anyone? We lost six, really? Dragon Drakes. Huh. 
Yeah. Uh, we're going to get, ooh, some main cavalry. Empire armored crossbowmen will take them even. Oh, their morale starting to go up. It's only below average now. Not too shabby. Okay. And we level up. Have to wait till after the siege. Ooh, starting to run low on food. Uh, give this lord. No, we're giving this to us. This is ours. Fuck off. Guy's trying to take my shit. Oh, that was stupid. Now there's no garrison here. Whatever. I don't care. I will just tell the dude to recruit. Do some recruiting. Seneschal Borgen. Looking at you. Uh, I'd like you to... Yeah. Do that thing. And baggage train. Thank you. That is all. Let's get some more food, though, anyways. Ooh, not a lot here. Okay. There we go. Good enough. And I think we can go ahead and end the episode off there. Yeah, so next episode, we are going to... Oop, hello. Hello. Count Bogdan, what you doing, man? All right, we're going to chase him back across this bridge. Or we're just going to kill him. There are only two options here. Get out of here, Lord Burgundus. Okay, we're going to just take him out real quick. And we're going to take him out. So, we'll go ahead and leave off uh, on that bridge, though. And next episode, we're going to push in across that bridge and hopefully take the rest of the north. Um, yeah, we'll see. I haven't, I haven't been on that side in ages since we've made our own kingdom. So, I don't know what the garrisons are looking like. We could be faced with some pretty tough sieges in the next episode or two. Um, but hopefully not too tough. Hopefully... We can make as much progress as we have been making, because we've been making a ton of progress in the last couple episodes. Minimum of a castle every episode. Sometimes, what, last episode we took like three. So, we're doing good. We're doing good. Hopefully we'll be done with this series before it's like time for me to go back to school. <laughs> no, realistically I want to be done with the series before June ends. Before June ends, if I can do that. Because Prisno is getting close. Um... And I'd like to do it before June ends, because that, as soon as this ends, I'm going to be making my own computer, the new upgraded computer, and we're going to be having some fun. We're going to be starting some new series and possibly some new games. Uh, games that I haven't been able to play up until now, because this computer really didn't have the power to do it. But uh, now we do. Now we should be able to. Alright. Oh my god, what a slaughter. I love how we just have troops all over the place. Just a blanket of troops. God, Mountain Blade would be so cool if we had, like, if we were able to up the party size or the battle size to, like, 500. It'd be nuts. I wonder if they'll be doing that for Bannerlord. Something actually tells me they won't. I feel like it's going to be about the same size, maybe a little bit larger than native version, but it's not going to be, like, Pendor. And I don't think they're going to make the battle size that huge. I think they mainly focus on upgrading the graphics rather than, um... Upgrading the number of troops that can be in a battle at a time. Which I like. It's going to look so gorgeous. So gorgeous. There we go. There's another victory. It only took us like two minutes. We're done. Oh, he kind of likes us. Well, you're free to go. I'm sure we'll fight with you again. Uh, ooh, cure guard. Yes. Ranger. Yes. Cavalry. Man-at-arms. Mercenary armsman. Uh, Blackheart squire. Looks good to me. Take you, prisoner. Alright, guys. Well, we're going to go ahead and end it off there. Hopefully you enjoyed another very productive episode. Took back Ravenstern. Finished off the Empire. Made peace with them. The Empire is... They're, they're over. It's finished. Uh, it's just going to be a matter of how long their vassals can hold out until they eventually die. Uh, but, as always, leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you think about this series. All the series that we got going on right now. And as always, take it easy.